My name is Jim Oliveira, Executive Director of the Mass Hire Greater New Bedford Workforce Board, located in New Bedford, Massachusetts. Today, it's my job to introduce you to the exciting career of working in the field of cybersecurity. Now, more than ever, the need for cybersecurity experts is in demand. In the following interviews, we will introduce you to four experts in the field who will describe their current roles and provide tips on how to enter the profession. Now about our presenters who represent a spectrum of knowledge in the field. They include Stephanie Helm, Director of the Mass Cyber Center, Mass Tech Development Corporation. Chris Rosendis, Managing Director of INX Advisors. Steve Zoromsky is the Vice President of Information Technology and CIO at Bridgewater State University. And finally, Professor Goiken Kuhl, University of Massachusetts Dr. This series of interviews is sponsored by four regional workforce boards located in southeastern Massachusetts that include Mass Hire Brockton, Bristol, and South Shore. Our collective total workforce board is on several hundred thousand workers. Through extensive labor market analysis, we determined there is a high demand for new workers within our region in the information technology sector, especially in the field of cybersecurity. Tell us a little bit about where, where you've been and where, how you got here. I was in the Navy for 29 years. I retired at the rank of captain. My community was uh, originally called cryptology. So it was signals intelligence based. And over the course of my career, that career community was redesignated as information warfare. That meant for the Navy that we were the community that really was looking at the um, career development for cyberspace operations for the Navy. We were a little bit different, but that's how I came into being involved with um, cyberspace operations. In 2018, I was offered the position here at the Mass Cyber Center at Mass Tech Collaborative. How are you? through the center supporting the cybersecurity ecosystem that exists. We work for the state of Massachusetts as a quasi public agency. We work um, in a number of different areas. One is ecosystem development. So we have a number of top cybersecurity companies that are headquartered here in Massachusetts. So they've got a demand for uh, cybersecurity talent. We work a lot in thinking about um, workforce development issues as part of the ecosystem. We also convene a resiliency working group for the state, and we also work a lot on awareness programs to help people think about cybersecurity and integrate it into their daily life, whether it's work or at home. What do you think the future of cybersecurity in Massachusetts looks like? Massachusetts brings together a number of key factors that really make us, I think, special. We have world-class education institutions that are teaching cybersecurity or conducting research on cybersecurity. And these graduates, many times, when they, if, with their, if they're not native to Massachusetts, they come to Massachusetts and study and go, hey, I, I kind of like this and I'd like to live here. And then happily, we've got a lot of companies that are seeking qualified professionals and would offer them a position. I think we've got a lot of elements that make us hugely successful in the cybersecurity sector. We've got a lot of startups and companies that are thinking innovatively about cybersecurity. So there's a lot of cutting edge things that are coming out of Massachusetts. And I think that makes it um, a very appealing to a young cybersecurity professional. They can start in a company and you know get some basics and then they can go into something that's more cutting edge if they like. How in demand are jobs in cybersecurity? Do you think we are graduating enough high schoolers to meet this demand? We could do more, I think, in terms of promoting students to join the STEM programs in high school. That's a first step, I think, to get folks into that right track that gives them sort of that technical foundation. Uh, that they might need if they're going to go into a, a, a technical field. And certainly cybersecurity is one of the options if they're in a STEM program. I think cybersecurity offers a lot more options within cybersecurity. As I said, you can be very much on keyboard, on the internet, looking for the hackers or you know trying to detect vulnerabilities. You can be very much into that. 
Any advice for people conserving a career in cybersecurity? I think one thing is to be um, interested in the changes that are ongoing. Uh, technology changes quite a bit, you know, being a lifelong learner, I, I guess, essentially to see that the new trends are happening and try to stay ahead of them. I think that's a very important component. You talk to people that are very high in the cybersecurity profession right now, people that are CISOs, they'll tell you that what they studied 15 years ago, 20 years ago is not relevant to what they're doing today. But because they were uh, engaged in what was happening and kept their interest and um, sort of self-motivated their learning that they were able to stick with this community and be able to grow with it. I think that that's one thing I would recommend. I want to thank you so much for your time and effort to uh, make it make this part of our program today. You're welcome, Jim. Thank you for including me. On behalf of my regional workforce partners, I hope you will know a little more about the need to defend against cybersecurity breaches and the educational pathways needed to pursue a career. This effort is being funded by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts Executive Office of Labor and Workforce Development.